Hey guys, it's Devin, and today I have a soft pastel kind of cut crease. It started out as a cut crease, got a little bit more blended than that, but you know, that's still what I'm going to call it because I do what I want. So let's get started. I'm first going to prime my eyes using a primer that is just similar to my skin tone, and I'm applying that with a flat foundation brush. And then I'm going to set that into place using a shadow that is the same color as my skin tone. This is just going to make the other shadows that I place on top of it easier to blend out. So the first shade I'm going to apply into my crease is a really light cool brown and I'm just going to sweep that into the crease with a fluffy blending brush and then next I'm going to deepen that up with a more chocolate brown and I am just going to use the same brush and the same sweeping motion just to add a little bit more depth. For the lid colors, I will be using my Sugar Pill Sparkle Baby palette, so I'm first going to start out with Kitten Parade, which is a pink with a golden shimmer in it, and I'm going to wet all of these shades with a setting spray first, just to make sure that they are very intense. And I'm going to apply this on the inner third of my eyelid, and then sweep it up into the crease a little bit. The next color I'm using is Candy Crush, and this is a light icy blue, and I'm going to apply that in the center of the eyelid, and then kind of blend it lightly into Kitten Parade, just so that those start to, uh, you know blend together. <laughs> the last shade I'm going to apply on the outer third is Frostine, which is just a satin blue based purple, and doing the same things I did with the other two shades. <laughs> and then I really didn't like the way that purple was sitting in my crease, so I decided to brush away the excess powder that was sitting there, and then apply a bit more of that chocolate brown into the crease, also to add more depth, but also to cover up that weird purple spot. <laughs> To do just a tiny bit more blending, I'm going to go back in with that lighter cool brown and apply a bit more in the crease just to make sure there aren't any harsh edges. I am forgoing eyeliner, but I am going to apply a tiny bit of this really dark brown right against the lash line just so that the fake lashes that I apply later have something to kind of stick to. And then I'm just going to apply a coat of mascara. I am only doing the upper lashes. I'm only focusing on the upper lid of this portion because I hadn't done my foundation yet. And then I'm just doing a tiny bit of brow bone highlighting with the shimmery satin shade out of the Naked Basics palette. The lashes I'm using today are the Coco Lashes in Goddess, and when doing a look without any liner but lots of lashes, you have to really make sure that these lashes stick to your lash line in the inner and outer corner, as well as the center, so just take your time and really make sure that those are stuck. And now I'm going to tight line with a black eyeliner, and this is going to fill in any gaps in between my natural lashes and my false lashes. And then I also highlighted the inner corner with that Venus shade that I used on the brow bone. For the lower lash line, I just kept it pretty simple. I applied the two browns that I used in my crease basically on my lower lash line and connected those kind of to the top portion of my lid, you know what I mean? And then blended those out with a blending brush with no additional product on it just to make sure there weren't any harsh edges. Now I am going to brighten up my waterline using the NYX Wonder Pencil and this is just a pencil that is a similar shade to my skin tone and it's just going to make my eyes look a bit wider. And then I also laid a coat of mascara on those bottom lashes. Moving on to the face, I did apply my foundation and concealer and everything off camera. I am going to contour using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow in Anaheim, and I'm just going to carve out my cheekbones with an angled blush brush, and I'm also going to contour my nose, and I'm starting out on the tip and then kind of dragging it up the sides of my nose, placing a little bit on my nostrils, basically just for balance, and then I'm just going to blend that out until it looks the way I want it to. To highlight my nose and my cupid's bow, I'm going to use my Becca Highlight in Moonstone, and I'm just going to use my finger to lightly apply that on the nose and the cupid's bow and blend out. And then for the cheekbones, I'm using my Kat Von D Highlight in Thunderstruck, and this is a little bit more gold and a little bit more pink, which is why I didn't really want to use it on the nose, but I'm just building that up on the cheekbones until it's shine and bright. The blush I'm using is City Color Papaya. This is a peachy matte blush, really soft, and I absolutely love the way it looks on the skin. For lips, I'm using the NYX Butter Lipstick in Snow Cap. This is a soft, glossy peach. I really kind of neglect this shade in my butter lipsticks in general, but I need to use them a lot more because I really love this color and the way that it looks. So that concludes this tutorial. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. There's a link to do so on the screen, as well as links to all my social media accounts, and that stuff is also down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.